Of all the disciplines, prayer is the most central because it ushers us into perpetual communion with the Father. What does it look like? What does it mean to smell like Jesus? I was like, fully? I don't know, but we see in Scripture the aroma, right? That, he is, that there's, that there's something about him. And actually, I want, I want everything of me, like every part of me to be so godly that it would reflect him. That people would look at me and say, man, he looks like Jesus. That when I opened my mouth, I would speak like Jesus. Say, man, he sounds like Jesus. That if they caught a whiff of me, they'd be like, mmm, he smells like Jesus. <laughs> I don't know what he wore. Was it boss? Was it? I don't know. No. But like, that's the, the point that we would be so... And it starts, it starts with prayer. It doesn't start with amazingly jumping around. It doesn't start with, let me be yours, Lord. Some of you are excited about that because you're really quiet and shy. It starts just with going, Lord, let me just speak to you. Let me enter into communion with you. Perpetual communion with you. See, we have prayer times, don't we? I wake up in the morning, maybe do my reading, and I pray. Maybe I do a bit of prayer after lunch, I take a break. Maybe I go to small group and I pray in small group. Oh, maybe I need some prayer, so I ask the church to pray for me. But, but there's kind of specific things. This moment, that moment, I'll pray then. But there's, there's this concept, this idea that actually through Scripture we see that we're rooted in perpetual prayer, that the more we hang out, that actually everything I do is almost rooted in that prayer. But how, Adrian, how do I walk around going, Lord, please, Lord, please, while also talking to Steve and also talking to, to Liz over here? Like, how, how can I do that? It's not going to come over, overnight. It's not going to happen. It's, it's part of that discipline, diving in, diving in.